The downtown Austin parking garage where two cars went through the cable barrier in a matter of months. Well, they're making changes to improve safety after meeting with city officials. Austin police releasing this video today of the most recent incident. This all happened last month. You can see that car plunging to the ground after APD says a woman mistook the gas pedal for the brakes. Austin Cold told KXAN's Kylie McGivern the property owner is looking to redesign the entire cable system in the garage. Yes, Robert, and before they do that, the property owners have taken steps to improve safety now. Take a look at these pictures. What you're looking at is plastic barriers filled with water. Think of these as temporary safeguards that are now on every level of the garage and act as an extra buffer between the cars and those cables. I mean, it is a little scary. Luckily, nobody got too hurt, um, the two accidents. It's something Daniel Schuster can't help but think about as he pulls into the parking garage off Brazos. At first, he didn't know what to make of it. I mean, it kind of seemed like a fluke thing, and then I was coming into the office, and I heard on the radio to avoid the, avoid the intersection that a car had gone off a, a garage. But then lightning struck twice. The cables, uh, I mean, after seeing two cars go through it, you just kind of get nervous. If you don't want to hit the gas too hard or go off the edge. A little nerve-wracking. I always park on the inside. The seventh floor where the July incident happened is currently fenced off with caution tape. Austin Code says it's made several visits to the site with the property owners, representative, engineer, building official, and city engineer. It was during those meetings the city determined the entire cable system will need to be brought up to current code. Good to know. They're looking at a redesign and we need that and I'm glad the barriers are in place so at least we are aware of what's happening. And when it comes to the repairs and upgrades needed, Austin Code says the owners have been in contact with several engineering firms. Now typically this property would have to be brought into compliance by the end of the month. But since they are looking at redesigning the whole back area that backs up to the alleyway with those cables, they said an extension will have to be filed. Back to you. That was the second crash at this same garage in less than one year's time. Last September, an SUV was left dangling from the side after a man accidentally drove through those barriers. Thankfully, he was able to get out unharmed. At the time of the July crash, we checked and found there had been no inspection of the building in between the two incidents. The city's planning and zoning telling us that that was because no permits were pulled on the building. The garage owner said he did repairs on the damage and the city inspected it then.